This instructional video is designed to show you how to balance a redox reaction uh, when you are given just the basic reaction and whether or not you have acidic or basic conditions. And so the first step in doing redox reaction balancing using the half reaction method is to ensure that you have a separation into two half reactions that are capable of being balanced. So our first half reaction will have the chlorine and tin as reactants, and so we'll need to pick the product that corresponds to that. Our second half reaction is going to be using the nitrogen. And so by anchoring that to elements that appear on both sides, we have something that can be balanced. The next step is to balance all of the matter that is not oxygen or hydrogen. In this case, for our nitrogen-based half reaction, that's already done. Here, we're going to need six, so that we have six chlorine atoms on both sides. Now, the next step is to balance our oxygens. We have none, so we do not have to do anything here. Over here, we have three oxygens as reactant and two as product. We balance by adding in water, so this will require one water molecule. Next we're going to balance hydrogen by adding H+. We have none here so this step does not apply on this side. Over here we have zero hydrogens versus two hydrogens. So we'll need to add two H+. And so now all of the mass is balanced and the only thing left to do is balance out our charges. We see here that we have six negative charges on reactants and one negative charge in product. Since the only thing we can do is add electrons, by adding five electrons here, we now have negative six versus negative six. So mass and charge are balanced in our first half reaction. Our second half reaction has a positive two and a negative one, so that's a positive one overall versus neutral for the products. So we can add in one electron and now we have neutral on the reactant side and neutral on the product side. It's important to note that we only need the same charge on each side. We don't need both sides to be neutral. So now we can verify that we have one half reaction that uses electron as product and another that uses electron as reactant. And this is good because now we can multiply both sides by a factor that will allow us to cancel out these electrons and then recombine everything. So we want to multiply here by 1 and here by 5. This is going to be 5 electrons as product and 5 electrons as reactant to allow cancellation. So the last thing we have to do is write everything out. So I'll do this one first. And I find from a visual perspective it's useful. to center everything around the yield zero so that it's very definitive which side you have your reactants and which side you have your products. So here we have five electrons. We're going to have ten hydrogen ions and five copies of our NO3 minus. Here we have five waters and five copies of NO2. So now that we've multiplied through our half reactions and we're prepared to put them all back together, we want to make sure that we can actually cancel our electrons out, which we can do here and here. And since nothing else cancels, we can simply write everything out all at once in one big, completely balanced redox reaction. So it's left as an exercise to the viewer to verify that we have complete balance both in terms of the number of nitrogens, oxygens, hydrogens, chlorines, and tin atoms, but also in terms of the overall charge on our reactant side versus our product side. In doing so, you'll be able to verify that this is in fact a completely balanced redox reaction. 